Welcome to Deep Thought. Follow your intuition. You know what? People, we have an intelligence inside of us. Our bodies. Our bodies are are literally an intelligence. See, one of the things people mistake is that they think, people think we only have one brain and that's in our head. But really our brain is really our our spinal column. Like the brain, if you look at the brain stem, it, it extends down to our buttocks. Yeah, I'm saying buttocks that way. I know how some people get it. That's not the way to say it. Buttocks. <laughs> For those who remember uh, the Forrest Gump movie from 1994. So all of our intelligence they, is not like between our ears. It's literally throughout our body. Our body will tell us something. Like I give you a basic intelligence right now, right? A very basic intelligence, and it has to do with sex. I've told men, if you have erectile dysfunction with a woman, it's not always something wrong with you. It's your penis telling you not to mess with this particular woman. It's your penis telling you that, right? Your penis will tell you who to mess with. And the same thing with the womb thing. Like, I know we get on women. Men get on women about the choices they make in mates and everything, and we think they should do it with... uh, you know, rational and all of that, but a lot of times it's something that that man who truly turns them on is bringing. One of the problems is is bringing something to him, and that's not always the way we see it. You know, it could, you know, he, he could be a bad boy or something, but maybe she needed to encounter that man, you know, or maybe because of some circumstance, if circumstances were different, they're actually compatible, you know. And I actually need to do something philosophical about the whole bad boy thing because that's about the most, as an aside, just a little tangent, but that, if you really think about it, that's, it's kind of arbitrary because if you think about it, here's something. During slavery, the rebellious slave was the bad boy or the Maroons who escaped slavery and started their own communities and raided slave uh, plantations or, or Harriet Tubman that she was the bad girl. It's a relative concept. But that's that's another that's another show. But understand you feel stuff in your body. You ever feel like what they call a gut feeling? Like you make a decision based on just some gut instincts. Now people think that's crazy, but um I say back in the nineties I like really studied like stuff like that, intuition and everything. I'd be surprised how many CEOs, business people, entrepreneurs, successful people make decisions based on a gut feeling. And it, and I know some people say, oh, that's crazy and stuff. It was like, no, that's why there's only a few of them. That's why there's only a 0.1%. They follow their intuition more. And something else, and here's a tangent too. They also follow astrology. A lot of these metaphysics that they'll try to tell people is crazy and stuff. And, you know, some people are warned against it. A lot of these companies and stuff use it. A lot of these rich people use it all the time. So, but anyway, that was another tangent, another show. But, you know, a gut feeling is basically your stomach trying to tell you. It's, uh, it's your nervous system. See, understand something. There's two modes of communication whenever, whenever two people communicate. There are two modes of communication. One is the verbal communication, right? Like say me and you, regardless of who, who is across from me, whether it's a male or a female. It's like say instead of y'all hearing this on, um, on YouTube, I'm standing in front of you or sitting in front of you telling you this. I'm looking directly at you. Now, that's one level of communication. You're hearing the words out of my mouth and everything, right? And maybe some people on a conscious level might be reading my body language, right? That's just one level. That's, you're talking like, like verbal communication is only 8% of communication between two people. What about that other 92%? Because, and this is what, this is a general rule of thumb I've told people. 
And sometimes, and look, I'm going to give y'all an experiment. I'm going to give y'all an experiment, right? But while you listening to my words and even watching, you could even be watching me and stuff, our bodies might be having a totally different conversation, right? Here's an example. If you ever go to maybe a nightclub or any, go to some place where you have a man and a woman, men and women interacting, right? And sometimes it's not even when they're together. Like, kind of just sit in the corner and just watch, right? You might see a situation where you have one man with a group of friends and he's talking, and then a woman with a group of friends and they talking, right? And they talking with their friends and you you don't think they're interacting, but if you look at them, their body language is pointed right at each other. Or you ever see that, like a woman is talking or a man is talking with their friends, but they're checking out somebody else, but they pointed in that direction, you know? Or something, or they doing stuff to draw their attention. Their bodies are having a completely different conversation. You know, I would say like, yeah, you or y'all could be in front of each other. Y'all talking, right? And it could be a man and woman. And you know what? Y'all talking politics, which you know is a general no-no if you're in a festive situation, or religion, or you talking a TV show. You talking about uh, Rom and Miss Mocha Angels? Uh, review of Insecure, y'all both heard it, right? And y'all talking about all the characters on there. That's the conscious thing, right? But then on a sub-level, y'all bodies are saying, you know, bump all this about some people on TV. Let's let's go to the Momo. <laughs> let's just go to the Momo. And depending on the situation, they say, forget the Momo, let's go out here to this alley. <laughs> Oh, man. Now nah, I've been there share that story. <laughs> yeah, let, let's just say the uh, bushes at the White House. Not, not the president, but like the actual shrubbery has seen some things. <laughs> oh, Lord. So anyway, right, it's saying something different. See, your body... Your intuition, your subconscious, it's looking at somebody and telling them no. Like, you have a... Uh, and I know women especially have experienced this. I know I know some women have experienced this. Because women talk a lot about vibes. They feel in the man. Like, I, I remember I did a video on my men's channel about you can't lie to a woman. And I had one detractor, and he was like, oh, yeah, you can. I already knew he was an idiot. He was an idiot. And I will just say that. Because women especially pay attention to a man's vibe. No matter what he's saying, if if he don't feel a certain way to a woman, she ain't going to mess with him. And you have some men who like uh, may have maybe a little bit more yin in them that can feel a man, like a man or a woman's vibe like that, too. Because you just have people, they just they can just feel it. Right. And, you know, it's just they just pay attention to it. And it's something it's, everybody can do. It is it's, it's easier for women it's a bit harder for a man. For a man to do it, the uh, only way the, a man can really do it, they, he has to be really relaxed. Like, he has to he has to be just in a calm state because usually men are in a, a young state where they like, ready to jump up and smack something, which is normal, which is normal. It's hard for men just to lay back. But if a man can learn to do that at critical moments, like when he's listening to somebody, or watching somebody and just sit back and just be quiet and just pay attention. He'll feel something. And like that gut feeling or something like that. Right? Follow it. Because it'll tell it's a truth mechanism. It'll tell you something. See, a lot of people get in trouble, like and everybody has probably done this at one time. They were about to get into some business deal, do some job, do something, get into some activity, and something kept saying no, no, no. Like they could feel it. In extreme cases, they might even get sick before they're supposed to do it. In extreme cases, right? Because your body knows. Your body's like, no, no, no. It's just like your body, your body will tell. And women can attest to this. Why women might not mess with a certain guy no matter what he has going on on paper. Because something about him tells her, nah, this ain't a good dude. So it's powerful. Follow it. Pay attention to it. Always pay attention to it. I always pay attention. If I ever get like a feeling about something, I pay attention to it. It's kept yeah, it's kept me alive. Right? Grew up in an area where I had to like size up people right away, because quite frankly, they were predators. 
like sexual rob you kill you otherwise all right and trust me it saved me i've seen two people gut it before the age of 10 gut it so you know it's uh it's something you want to it's something you want to develop and something you want to follow all right so anyway that's it for now as always think on this peace and blessings <laughs>